These guys are sick of winter too. They're like, piss off, winter. some little lake that I have never been to in my life it's pretty close to the house but I, it's just pretty inaccessible but you wonder why this whole area is flooded and it's exactly that there's just beaver houses freaking everywhere they got obviously all the natural drain points blocked off and this just whole area is backed up I don't know it's kind of hard to tell on video but like every tree that's along the water is dead. There's literally tens of thousands of dead trees because this whole area has been flooded for, I don't know, it's gotta be going on six or seven years now. Insane! We gotta shoot these beavers or trap these beavers. I think it's the only way to get this area back to normal. It's been a really rough, long, 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 cold winter on the deer too. So <laughs> you can see here, this is where one or two or I don't know how many deer met their demise, but yeah, it's been a frickin' rough, rough, long winter. Like we're getting into the middle of April and we still got insane amount of ice and snow. So it's tough for them to find food, tough for them to find water. So they get weak and then coyotes or wolves or whatever get them. Sad, but that's the kind of cycle of life. little all-natural RTI ramp. <laughs> it's 
crazy how strong a tree is when it's got some branches frozen in the ice. So basically you got like 50 little branches holding it up. I don't know if, uh, if you went up any further if it'd finally break, but you might flip over too, so. <laughs> Just pose for a photo opportunity. So not only do beavers, you know, chew up a bunch of small stuff to dam up areas and kill trees, they also got to chew down trees for food. Look at the size. Like this one has been down for a while, but this thing's got to be like 20 inches in diameter. Like how long would it take them to chew that down? This one's a more fresh one. You can't see the stump, but these guys here are pretty fresh, probably just in the fall. But like, man, they can just take down massive frickin' trees. I'm kind of parked on this one, but I'll show you what I mean. They eat a lot of the bark. They usually like poplars. Like, look at that. She's just chewed clean. <laughs> frickin' unreal, man. I don't know why the heck they... This is some frickin' A1 lumber. Too bad it's kind of out in the middle of nowhere. Nice big birch log. You get a lot of fires out of that baby. Like look at every tree, I mean every branch, just like surgically chewed off. <laughs> Their freaking teeth are crazy. If you ever hear them chewing out in the bush, it's crazy how loud it is. Like they are wood chips flying pretty much. Busy as a beaver all right. Kind of a cruddy day wasn't much happening i think it's almost five o'clock it's kind of hard to tell it's such an overcast day but i figure why not hop in the sherp and go for a ride usually a guy wouldn't be caught dead on anything with wheels out in the middle of these things you never know what the ice is going to be like but at least with the sherp if you fall through you can just claw back out and get back up and continue on so right on find lots of cool stuff out here Man, these little gorilla pods, <laughs> I put them on, on just about everything today, branches, stumps, whatever. Frick, they sure work good, especially with the lightweight of a GoPro. So, just out here by myself, so trying to get a bit of video. Kind of hard to tell, we're kind of at the top of a hill here. It's not much, probably would have been a better video climbing up the hill. We climbed up the other side. Maybe I'll come down, turn around and climb back up there. But yeah, all right.
was easy. Probably we, it was a little bit easier because we kind of packed on a trail, so it was pretty simple. I got the tires aired down pretty good. Maybe down to one PSI right now. So I think that's one of the biggest things to not puncturing a tire when you drive over dead trees and dead sticks and crap that can be really sharp. So I don't know what the heck these things are made out of. They're still super soft, but like I have driven over everything <laughs> and I haven't had a single issue with the tires. Crazy. Some kind of magical, maybe Kevlar, I don't know. Something pretty crazy in them. We'll try to just go straight here. It's unreal the amount of dead trees. Luckily, most of them have been here for a while, so they're not of a lot of resistance. Press the bumper skiing. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> now I just gotta get back in without getting run over. Okay. Step one, open the door. Step two, get in. Don't die. Step three, success. Step one, open the door. Step two, get in. Don't die. Sherp's crawling ability with no input, no driver input. <laughs> Holy cow, look at that! 
just over maybe one or two little sloughs over. <laughs> Another gigantic beaver, beaver house. I don't know kind of how close I want to get here. This is obviously open water where they go in and out for feeding and stuff. They're still chowing down trees here. Actually, anywhere's even around a beaver house is pretty sketchy as far as ice because they got all sorts of they chew all sorts of branches down and kind of freeze them into the ice to use as food over the winter and that kind of attracts the sun makes the we ice weak a little bit of a game trail here lots of times deer will come and they'll try to drink water out of where the beavers got open where they got the ice opened up can you see the sherp up there Just drove right up that hill like nothing. Just looking around here, look at this freaking awesome hornet's nest. Looks like it's been ripped open. But pretty freaking awesome right in the branches of this dead freaking. I think this is a tamarack. Looks like a tamarack. But yeah, how freaking cool is that? Unreal, man. Just a bunch of wasp spit. <laughs> Pretty freaking neat.